Trump is in the news, shockingly enough. Donald Trump and polls. Let's talk to Rick Klein, ABC News political director. Good morning, Rick Klein. Hey, great to be with you. What are the polls saying? softening in his support for the first time since he's been a candidate. We've seen him just on this rocket rise and defying gravity every step of the way. Now suddenly his his lead is still there, but it's not in the double digits, and you're seeing a whole range of other candidates are beginning to challenge him. So it's a real testing period for the Donald. All right. Are people getting tired of his act? Why are these numbers soft? It seems to be tied to the debate a week or so ago and the performance he had there where the other candidates took him on very directly, particularly Carly Fiorina, who seems to have taken a chunk of the numbers from him. Interestingly, Marco Rubio has seen a rise in his numbers, as has Jeb Bush, a little bit of a bounce back. So it may be that Republican voters are saying, okay, enough of the act, but uh, Trump is still the front runner, and uh, it's just a question of the vulnerability that the other candidates sense right now. Uh, how did Ben Carson end up in these new polls? It is fascinating what's going on with Ben Carson. The guy has been running a very quiet, sort of under-the-radar screen campaign. You saw his comments about a Muslim president over the weekend. But he is catching on, particularly on social media among religious voters, uh, the idea of this outsider, this man who had a distinguished career in medicine long before he thought about politics. It's intriguing to people. The question now is just how he weathers over time and what the scrutiny means to his campaign. What, what about Carly Fiorina? Uh, she was the breakout star of that debate, and it was the second debate that she had a big platform for this. So I'll tell you, talking to other campaigns, they are scared of what Carly Fiorina represents. Uh, she has the potential to, uh, as a female candidate, bring a different kind of argument to Hillary Clinton. Uh, her business record is going to get more and more scrutiny over the ensuing days and weeks. You're already seeing some of that begin to, to, to filter out, but uh, she is now officially a first-tier contender. Rick Klein, ABC News political director. Uh, what about the second tier? They have to start seeing the handwriting on the wall at some point. Who are you hearing about the next to sort of give up the ghost? Yeah, of course, we've already seen Rick Perry and Scott Walker, two governors of big states, uh, have to get out of the race. A lot of buzz around Rand Paul, whose numbers are are failing, and he's got to make a decision. Does he run for Senate or does he run for president? Uh, some of the lower, lower-tier folks, like Bobby Jindal and Rick Santorum, they've got less to lose by sticking around and can got to go all in on the early states. But uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this field shrinks even more before the voting even gets close to beginning. What about uh, Chris Christie? How are his numbers? I guess a little bit of a bounce back for him, a surprise to some some folks because a lot of folks had counted him out, particularly in New Hampshire where he's spending a lot of time. Uh, it, it could be that he's the beneficiary of some of the cleared out, uh, the, the two governors who've dropped out. That means more money is available. So I, I wouldn't count Chris Christie out just yet, although he is pretty far down the list. Democrats, um, Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, Sanders, what, what are those polls saying there? So an interesting poll out of New Hampshire, our affiliate up there, has Sanders up by about 15 points in New Hampshire. Also big numbers for Joe Biden. A lot of interest in a Biden candidacy. Uh, he continues to, to act like a candidate and just not talk like a candidate, looking like a candidate, not saying that he's a candidate, uh, but appearing at events and, and, and really relishing in the, the, the give and take of politics in a way that only Biden can. So I think that's still going to be a competitive race. And with all the email headlines and the rest, Hillary Clinton's got to be worried. Yeah. What about this government showdown? Is there a deal pending? Uh, no deal pending. I, I think most folks believe it'll be averted in some way, but uh, I'll tell you, don't underestimate the uh, the fervor with which some of the people that want to show down over Planned Parenthood, over abortion funding, uh, have in mind uh, bringing this to a head over the next couple of days. We've got a deadline of, of midnight on Wednesday before the government shuts down because of no funding. Uh, no one thinks that's a good idea, but uh, there isn't a great way to get out of that right now. Rick Klein, ABC News political director. I saw you on Greta on Fox News the other day. She calls you AP Klein. What's the deal? What's the nickname for? <laughs> I don't even know. That's a that's new to me. I'll have to I'll have to think about what those initials could potentially mean. All right. So she just calls you AP Rick. For I, yeah. Be, 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 uh, all all performance. I and mean, let's think about what it could possibly mean. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> all right. It's, there it's you definitely go. flattering. I'll take it. I'll take it in the spirit with which it was meant. You betcha, Rick Klein. <laughs> thanks for checking in. Hey, thanks. ABC News political director AP Rick, uh, <laughs> as you see him on Greta Van Susteren on Fox News. Seven twenty four here. Big five fifty. K.